good morning from St. Thomas Episcopal Church and School in San Antonio, Texas, and welcome to Morning Prayer. For the morning of Monday, April 8th, this is Right One Monday, but it's also Eclipse Monday. If you're in San Antonio or along that path, then around noon, I think, we should be seeing the total eclipse here. Of course, we're recording this a few days ahead of time, and it's a beautiful, sunny, and windy day out here today, and it's supposed to actually be overcast on when you'll actually be seeing this on Monday. I'm not hoping it won't be. I'm hoping we'll be able to see the eclipse. But um, anyway, so happy Eclipse Day. And I brought some things out here with me uh, on the deck. The roses have been blooming and blooming, and so I have collected some rose petals. Uh, some of these have already dried. Some of these I just took off. Of course, when I go to dry them, I'll take them out of this bowl and spread them out to dry. But it's, uh, we've had some really lovely roses blooming this year so far, the spring. It's so it smells like rose. It's lovely. So what am I going to do with these when they dry? Oh, I don't know. I might, um, I might make some potpourri out of them, but I also might uh, use them in soap. Who knows? But anyway, they're out here to kind of brighten our darkening day. Today, let's pray for peace on earth. And let's pray for peace of Jerusalem. In the Anglican Communion today, we're praying for the Diocese of Derby and the Church of England. And in our own diocese this week, we're praying for the Church of the Resurrection in Windcrest and the Church of the Redeemer in Eagle Pass. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for David, our bishop, and for Mike and Allie, our priests. As always, from wherever you are, please bring your own concerns, intentions, and thanksgivings to prayer this morning. So let's start on page 39. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And on page 41, let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And on page 46, let's say Christ our Passover. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. We have three psalms today. We're going to start the cycle of psalms over. And we're going to begin with Psalm 1 and read Psalm 2 and Psalm 3. 
and that begins on page 585. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the peoples mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. He whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod, and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear, with trembling bow before him, lest he be angry and you perish, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all who take refuge in him. Lord, how many adversaries I have, how many there are who rise up against me, how many there are who say of me, there is no help for him in his God, but you, O Lord, are a shield about me, you are my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I call aloud upon the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and go to sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I do not fear the multitudes of people who set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, set me free, O my God. Surely you will strike all my enemies across the face. You will break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hi there. We have a couple of birds up on the feeder that's really very close to me right now. The one closest that I can see what it is, is a house finch. So it's a male, and he has his red head and his red breast. Uh, the one on the other side, all I can see are tail feathers, so I really don't know who that is over there. I'd love it if they would come down in sight of the camera, but I'm pretty sure they won't get this close to me. Oh, hello there. It's a female house finch. So she doesn't have, she has kind of a streaky breast, and she, she doesn't have the red on her. Well, thank you for coming and letting me see anyway. They crack me up because there are like, I don't know, six maybe ports where they can get something to eat. It's all the same seed, but they go from port to port. And it's just like, you think there's something different in this port that makes them happy? They're welcome to it. So we have roses and birds today. Let's go to our readings. We're in the book of Exodus in chapter 14. We're going to begin with verse 21 and go through the end of that chapter, which is, let me see, verse 31. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on the dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord and the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. 
the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the Israelites, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots, the chariot drivers, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. And thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant, Moses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our first canticle for today is the first song of Isaiah. And I'm reading the King James Version. This is Isaiah chapter 12, verses 2 through 6. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let's continue in our Gospel reading in St. John. We're going to begin chapter 14. We're going to begin with verse 1 and go through verse 17. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is the Song of the Redeemed. Again, this is the King James Version, which is Revelation chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My little friends have gone away. And on page 53, let's say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And now, let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And on page 55, let's say suffrages A. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. And our Collect for today is the Collect for the second Sunday of Easter, and that's on page 172. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery has established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And on page 57, let's say the Collect for Peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 58, our prayer for mission. O God, who hast made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and didst send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee. Bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And on page 59, let's say the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, that wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let's take a few moments for reflection.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.